Your name and Eli's name has popped up quite a bit recently because people wonder if Trevor Lawrence, if he's the number one pick of the draft, would want to go and play for the Jets if the Jets were also the number one pick. If Trevor Lawrence or his family reached out to you and said, hey, how did you guys handle when Eli was going to get drafted early in 04 and you guys didn't want him necessarily at a certain place, what would you advise the Lawrence family? Oh, they'll they'll be you know we we know Trevor we had Trevor um, summer before last at at the Manning Passing Academy as a counselor uh, great young man I mean and is such a super player you know if, if Trevor's family or Trevor wanted to talk <laughs> about that they probably uh, rather than me it'd be like Tom Condon probably be a better guy to talk to because um, he represented Eli that was kind of where that where that started and and um, it um, it it happened. I you know I can't say it's it, it, it that's necessarily the best thing to do. It's just what Eli chose to do, and and uh, I think it worked. I've always said I think it worked out well. It worked out well for the Chargers. They had who I think was a Hall of Fame quarterback all those years in, in Philip, and, and it worked out well for Eli and the Giants. I got to say that's such an interesting answer that you gave because a lot of people frame it as that was your decision because you had played so many years for a bad Saints team. But it sounds Everybody like you just assumed that. Everybody yeah, it sounds like you weren't that, necessarily David, the fact that I played for. They, uh, you know, and and a lot of media, mostly New York media, you know, just just put that out there just because I. And no one ever asked me is it because you played a bad team? Is that the reason Eli's not going to the Chargers? At that. that had nothing to do with it, and it wasn't my. It, it, that's not really the role I'm uh, as, as a father. I wanted to, wanted to be. I always wanted to support my kids, but I I didn't recommend that. And it was something that uh, Tom Tom actually was very familiar with the with the Chargers. Represented uh, their quarterback, their best player, their wide receiver, their head coach, and it was just a lot of uh, things that I think to him and to Eli that uh, they they made that decision. So uh, it is what it is. Well, that's so interesting because, yeah, as you said, that's kind of the narrative that got built up over time. And I think the way that you just said it was, I, I'm not necessar- I don't necessarily think that was a good idea. So was there a part of you that said, ah, I don't know if you should try to pull this off, Eli? Oh, I just told it was bold. I said it's bold. Now, you know, John Elway had, had done it too. So it had, hap- it had happened before. I said it's so uh, Bold. I still think it was bold, but uh, Eli chose to do it, and um, it uh, then it worked out where there there was a trade, and, and it seemed like then then everyone was happy. So uh, it, I, as I said before, I, I think it worked out well for the Chargers, worked out well for the Giants. 